Guys, we are at Governor's Island. The island of governors, future governors. And uh, we're gonna fish for big catfish and hopefully some bass here. Very, very windy today. Actually, it's not that windy elsewhere. It's just really windy here because it's always windy here. And uh, hopefully we can get some big ones. I think they're biting right now and I haven't caught a big catfish in a long time. So let's get fishing. I went and caught some bluegills on Lake Mendota just over there and uh, bought some. So we got some nice cut bait and uh, we're gonna try to get some big catfish. So take this uh, bait and uh, got a five ounce weight on it, which is way too much. Gonna lob it as far as we can. That's a good distance. Hopefully we get a catfish. All right, we're gonna toss this little jig bait out and see if we can get anything. It's very, very windy here, but sometimes early in the year, as well as late in the year, it might be like a couple of smallies here. I heard that a kid just off the island got a big catfish just now, so I'm hoping that they're very active before nightfall. So I don't want to stay here until nightfall, but I will, if that's what it takes to catch a fish. Well, that pole is going a little crazy. So I think we got one. I think we got one. And I think it's gonna be Gato. Seems pretty big. That's definitely a fish. That is grade A fish. And yeah, reel it in. So it seems pretty heavy. Oh, that one just hit two. Oh, they're, they're pulling. I doubled up, but I don't have someone else to help me wind. That's no good. Oh no, it's pulling the other way. No, no, don't do that, please. Doubling up is, oh no, I lost the bell. Oh, oh, that, that fish is going insane. I wonder if that's a pike or a cat over there. Cause I just saw it jump. But this one, this one is pretty tough as well. Uh, hold there, hold there just for a second, my friend. I'll get you, I'll get you soon. Just, just, uh, there's a gato fish. There's a gato fish. It's not a huge one, but well, that's a good one. Today they are biting. They are indeed biting today. That's a good one. I'm gonna have to weigh that one. That one's probably like 15, 16. That's a gato fish and that one's on too. That one's gonna have to stay on for a minute. Lost another bell, but I got like 20 bells. So I'm not really worried about that. All right, all right. Hold on there, cat. Hold on there, gato fish. All right, gotta get the net. Gotta get the net. You know, most days here I don't get anything, but today, today, they are definitely biting. Biting like crazy. I wonder if that one just fell off the hook because I didn't pull it for long enough. I think it's still there. I'm not 100% sure. There we go, catfish. It's a good one. It's a good one. I wonder if I just lost the bigger one though, because I definitely lost the bell there. Which sucks, I like the bells. But I have like 20 of them, like I said. But that's, there's the fish there. And uh, we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. In the net, fish. In the freaking net. There we go. Fish, net, net just broke. All right, but we got it in the net. Awesome. guy up. It's a very good fish. See that? It's a very happy catfish. Maybe not so happy because it just got caught. But uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. 11 pound channel gothel fish. Very nice and very gothelish. Let's, let's get this guy back in the water and reel the other one in. The method we're gonna let this one go by is we're just gonna put it down here in the water release the glippers let go of my let go of my thing catfish then hopefully it figures it out it's a pretty big fish it's not like those little things but turn around fish all right fish go back in the lake go back in the lake there it goes there it goes while i was reeling that one in pretty sure this one got a fish now the hard part is getting this one out of the hole that I put it in. There we go. Very, very nice. Still on? Definitely still on. Should be a little tired. This should be a little tired based on the fact that uh, it's been trying to get off for a while, but 
since I got the other one, I couldn't quite handle this one on time. This one, this one's pretty big too. I mean, they're all pretty big. And let's be honest, all the catfish in Mendota are, are decently big. None of them are tiny. That's why I like catfishing in Mendota. You don't get tiny fish. You get big ones. At least 10 pounds. It's quite a workout. Quite a workout. Yes, folks, you need a cut bait. The worms don't work as well in the spring. They might work well in the fall, but they definitely don't work well in the spring. You need cut bait. I was thinking this one was a pike because I saw it kind of jump across the water, but no, it's a catfish. It's a grade A catfish. I don't know about grade A catfish, but it's a catfish. Oh, it's a bigger one. It's bigger. It's definitely bigger. This one, I'm always searching for the 20 here. Always searching for the 20 pounder. This one might be a 20. That's a big bull. That is a big, big bull. That's why I also buy the cheap bells. If I lose the expensive electronic ones, I would cry. Those are like five, 10 bucks a piece. These, the ones I got are like, the ones I use are 10 cent a piece. So if I lose 10 of them, it's fine. All right, fish. Oh, it's on the rocks. This is bad. I need to drag it across a little bit. Oh, that one's big. That one is big. Much bigger than the other one. All right, fish, this way, this way. I need to get a place where I can just net you safely. That's a big one. It's a big bull. See that? That's a big one. That is a big one. That's a big one. I don't know if it's the biggest one I've caught, but it's a big one. And these rocks are going to be a little slippery, so I got to be careful not to like, you know, die. But that's a big one. One of the, definitely one of the big ones I've caught in Mendota. Still need to draw it in though. Oh, this is big. I don't know if it fits in the net. I think it will. Yeah, it fits in the net. Barely though. It's one of those that barely fit in the net. Oh, look at that fish. That's a beaut. That is a beaut. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. Biggest PB so far. PB fit. Catfish. 22 pounds. Channel Gato fish. 22 spanking pounds to barely lift the dang thing up. 22 pounds, channel catfish. Insane. So the special, it's a PB. It's a PB. Gotta let the PB go. Okay, okay. Destroy my weight if I don't. Just gotta send this thing off in the water. That's a big bull. 22 pounds, channel gato fish. Don't have too much time today, so I gotta leave. Only been here about an hour, an hour and a half. I caught a PB channel catfish at 22 pounds and another one at 10, 10, 11 pounds. So had a really good session for the short amount of time I have. Had some dinner plans. So uh, I'll be seeing you next time. Hit that like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button and join me on my next fishing adventure.